Okay, welcome back to some more Snakewood. In the last episode, we evolved our Magikarp into a Gyarados and used Surf to arrive in Duford Town. I think it's Duford Town. Duford Town, Duford City. We're here. And I told you guys we were going to take on the gym leader in the next episode after I trained, which I have done. Uh, let's see here. Everybody's up one level, except for pretty much Breloom and Swallow were already level 23, I'm pretty sure, so didn't work on them. But we are ready to take on the gym leader here, so let us go and talk to Haruko. Ah, you must be Ghost. My trainers have been warning me you are strong. Unfortunately, I cannot battle you just yet. I need you to do, me, do a favor for me. You see, there have been rumors lately that there's something nasty at the bottom of Solar Caverns. I'd like you to investigate. And when you come back, I'll fight you. Is that okay? Sure. Alrighty then. So apparently, we need to go to Solar Cavern and go look and see what's going on in there. So after I spent all that time finding the gym leader in this dark place, because the light doesn't get any brighter, I have to go all the way back to the entrance right here and do it all over again. But now I'm pretty sure we can go in that cave back there. Um, I didn't know that this is what we had to do. I thought we were going to face the gym leader. But I guess first we have to go into the solar cavern. So let's just go and get started. Here we are. Hello. Oh, I barely made it out of there alive. There's something down there, kid. Something real nasty. I don't even want to think about it. Huh. That's weird. Well, we're gonna find out what it is. Ooh. There it was again. Whatever it is, it's... I'm getting closer. I'm guessing that's what we're going to... Go find out what that loud noise is. And there it is again. There it is again. It seems somehow familiar. Familiar, you say? I wonder how familiar it must be. Stupid wild Pokemon. Sundance Rock. Well, we can't go that way because we do not have the bicycle. But we can't get this item over here. I have no idea what that was that I just ran into. It said it was a ham bone, but uh, it looked really, really weird. Don't want to mess with those. Here's the ladder. Oh, and there's a the sound again. I definitely heard it before, but where? What? Why are these new flashbacks so painful? Ugh! Our contract is terminated. What, what was that? That voice? It's like nothing on earth. Weird. Guess we'll get to the bottom of it. Once we get out of this stupid cavern part here. Man, lost my mystery egg. Too bad we don't have rock smash. That way we'd be able to get that item there. Pretty sure we don't have it. I could check real quick. Nope. Nothing to be found. But we're gonna go here. Oh, there it is again. What is that? Ah. Oh, we're seeing a picture. What was that? A memory? But of what? Don't know. There's a lot of those hand bones in here. Alright, so now we found a number stone. Um, guessing that is the same thing as an Everstone. Which means that if you uh, use it, then it's probably going to make your Pokemon not evolve. And I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to use that. But I am going to put up a Repel though. I think I have one. Yeah, there it is. Prevents evolution. I do have a repel in here. So I'm going to use this repel. That way we don't run into any more wild Pokemon. Because we are almost at the end of the cave here. And I'm ready to see what this so-called roar is. Here it is again. Not again. Ah, what is this? What is this thing I'm remembering? And what is this contract? I guess the only way to find out is to continue. Yep. 
so let's go in here. Here we are, and there's nothing. That's odd. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Oh, it's it's here, all right. It's coming. Oh God, up uh, you. Huh? What what is this thing? Looks like a dragon. Charizard, really awesome looking Charizard. There it is, Meteor. Our contract is terminated, human. We have joined the horsemen now. Uh, I remember you now. You're Meteor, the Dragon King. Yes, I'm Meteor. I thought Pestilence had ar arranged for your death. Apparently, so did she. I suppose I will have to finish the job that she could not complete. Do you really have to preface every sentence with a roar? It's really startling. It's really annoying. Silence. I will eradicate you. Alright, well it looks like we are going to take on Meteor here. This awesome looking Charizard, who I would love to catch. But apparently, he's not a Pokemon. He is a dragon who's fighting with a dragon. So. Now we have to face a green and red Charizard. Weird. And it's called Dragon, so whatever. I'm just gonna get the paralysis off on it. That way I can get me some Thunder Shocks in. I'm pretty sure Pikachu won't be doing very much. Yeah, it's not very effective. And it knows a dig, which is not good for me, so I am going to switch into Baltoy because Baltoy knows Levi Levitate and Dig will not affect me. Yep, ground moves miss with Levitate. And I'm going to use Rock Tomb. Maybe that'll do something. Okay, so it's not a fire type, but I did lower its speed, so I'm guessing it's pure dragon type and I don't really have anything to use against it. Well, of course you get the paralysis. First time using it. And I'm paralyzed. And you're not. There we go. Got off a side beam. Didn't do very much and did not conf um, confuse it, which I was really wanting to do. Lost our ball toy there. Guess we're going to swallow now. Because Pikachu can't really do anything at all. And what is use wing attacks? Should work. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be fine. If we can survive one more hit, or you can use the super potion. Of course you do. Of course you're gonna use the super potion. Now, that is going to take me out. I've never seen that move before. Ooh, Swallow, look at you hanging on. Proud of you, buddy. And you got the critical hit, so you are okay. All right, we defeated Dragon. Gained some EXP. Defeated Meteor. Impossible, can it be? You did not lose all your power? Mmm, I guess not. And there he goes with the roaring again. We will meet again, mark my words. I may not be able to destroy this town right now, but I'll be back soon enough. Okay. Phew, what was that about? What power is it that I lost? Ah, this is also confusing. I better tell Haruka about this. Alright, guess there's no items to get in here. So we will leave this cavern and we'll pick up this item, which is TM11. Uh, I think that's Sunny Day. Let's check it. Yep, Sunny Day. Really don't want to use that because I don't really have a Pokemon that I can use it with. So I'm not going to teach it to any of my guys. Don't think it'll be really any use anyway. But we are out of the cave now, and we can go take on Haruko. So let me just go to the Pokemon Center and heal up, and then I will meet you guys back at the gym later in the gym. Alright, here we are, chilling with the gym leader here, about ready to take her on for a battle. Um, there was a couple of gym trainers that I actually missed while I was coming through here, so I fought them real quick. Pikachu grew to level 24, that's about it, nothing special. So, now let's take on this gym leader, Haruko. Did you find out what was causing the rumors? Yeah, there was a group of dragons there. Apparently, they came with the zombies. I knew it! 
I'll have to get the old anti-air gun working again. Anyway, thanks. Now, show me your true power. Alright, so now it's time to take on the gym leader, Haruko. And she has the sprite of Flannery, I think it is. But, unfortunately, no, she does not look like Flannery. She looks like that. And she has dark types. So fighting type moves are going to be very, very effective on her. But, I'm going to stick with Baltoy first. And take out these level 18s. Now, I have practiced with her a lot, and she has a secret weapon that I'm not going to talk about, but it is, it is the worst Pokemon. It isn't even a Pokemon, it's one of those hacked ones, you know, that this is a hack, and there's different kinds of Pokemon in the game and stuff. Well, this one is definitely one you do not want to mess with. But we'll get to that in a minute. First, we have to take out this Puchiana, which knows Bite, which has lowered my- I think that was Crunch, actually, I'm not really sure wasn't paying too much attention. But I'm not really worried about Voltoid. Our big hitter is really going to be Breloom. It's going to be the one that helps us the most because it has a fighting type move on it. So while Puchita takes the recall from that, I am going to send out Breloom to take out the rest of these dark types with the mock punches because those will definitely do its best. And um, of course she's going to use Super Potion. Believe me, she has plenty of those, and I'm not afraid to use them. But we're going to use a Mott Punch. Should take up this Puchiana in one hit. Yeah, because we are level 23, so that's good. But we still have, what, I think five more to go? Sneasel, that is alright. Yeah. All the gym leaders, I'm pretty sure, have uh, six Pokemon, which is very, very bad for me. Because... They do get to uh, very high levels as you get up into the uh, like fourth and fifth badge. It's it's pretty hard to defeat them, and you the level gaps are really really bad. So we're gonna have to do a whole bunch of training. But luckily we have Berlin, and that these guys are level 18, so they're going pretty easy on us because this is our first official gym battle. We did have a little gym battle quote-unquote whenever we were um I think in the last episode we did because um we were fighting that woman who apparently used to be in Brawley's gym or something like that so she gave us something but we had to defeat her to be able to use surf so now we have defeated her I think that was fourth right barely in the grid level 24 now she has her Luxray, which is her second to last Pokemon. Shouldn't be a problem though. Believe me, you think this one's bad, just wait till you see her last one. Should take it out in maybe another hit? I don't know. It's using bulk up, which is usually what it does, it just uses bulk up, so I will have to be careful with that because if it does get a hit off on me, it's probably going to take me out. I'm hoping it doesn't have like Fire Fang or something like that because if it did, definitely would not be good for me. So I'm pretty sure she's going to use a Super Potion, but luckily Luxray has bitten me so it's got a paralysis. And now she's going to Super Potion again so I'm going to get it back down to where it was. And now if she doesn't use another Super Potion, we should be able to... Oh no, she's, she's going to use an, another one, of course, of course you are. So I'm going to lower it back down again, and of course you got a critical freaking hit. <sighs> well, Swallow can do, I mean, Pikachu can do something. At least the electric type moves will not be too bad. Hopefully we can get a quick attack off real quick and she won't use another super potion. Or she's going to use another super potion. Come on. Alright, well let's go with the slam then. Oh, of course, of course we missed the slam, of course. Alright, Gyarados, looks like it's up to you. I think Gyarados has bite on it too. Maybe that'll do something. No, it's not very effective, but it did flinch. Just get out of here, come on. Sorry for the super speeding, but that was getting annoying. And I can't believe we took it out with a surf. Alright, this right here. Her last Pokemon. King Mandio. Believe me, it is the worst thing ever. Look at it. It's nothing. It's just a ball with eyes. Level 1. You think it would be no problem, right? Well, guess what? 
it has Wonder Guard, which means none of my moves will work on it. None at all. None of my Pokemon moves will work on it at all. So, I have to sit here and basically spam all of my moves until it runs out of Nightshade, because the only thing it knows is Nightshade. And since it's level 1, it only does 1 damage to me. If you don't believe me, I can use Splash. It's not going to do anything, of course. Tackle, no. Wonder Guard will take that. Fight, nope, doesn't work either. And none of my moves of any of my other Pokemon will work. So, you just have to sit here and wait for it to uh, get done with the Nightshades until it uses Struggle and basically kills itself. Which is probably going to take a really long time. So I'm going to be super speeding and probably doing this for a little while. And uh, once I get down to about... See, now I'm going to struggle. So once it gets about to red and it's about to die, we'll be right back and you can, uh, you can see. Alright, so I got this thing down to red. Well, it's got itself down to red by using struggle because that's the only thing it's got left. But luckily, she didn't use a super potion, which is good. So we finally took out that King Mundio. Took a little while, but we got it. And we have defeated Gym Leader Haruko. Just as I expected from a Slayer of Dragons. Alright, so believe me when I say you don't want to see what happened. Because really nothing happened. I just sat there and spammed the super speed until it struggled and killed itself. If I could find one of those... I would definitely want to catch it because it would be pretty pretty good to have my team since no moves that I know of will actually work on it so all right all Pokemon up to level 30 will obey us and she also gives us TM08 which is bulk up I believe is she inherited it from Brawly the previous gym owner and bulk up yep raises attack and defense there are other gyms left the ones that are surrounded by water Unless the dragons got to them. Okay, so we have defeated Gym Leader Haruko. And it looks like we are destined to head on out to, I'm guessing, Slateport City. Which would be our next move. But, not too sure, you know, this game is totally different from the actual Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald games. But I believe that is what we will do. We will do that in the next episode, but... Oh, what is this? The Poképhone is ringing. Hello? It's me! Did you find anything out about Landon and May? Oh, oops, I forgot to ask anyone. But I did kill two dragons. That's beside the point. Stop wasting time slaying monsters and find my daughter and your brother. Okay, okay, I'll ask around. Someone here would know something. See to it that you do. Hmm. Maybe I should ask around the houses first. I'm guessing we are going to ask this house up here, the information place that, you know, where they know everything, so we can talk to, well, we can't talk to them people still, but let's see. Seen my brother Landon by any chance? The Pokemon champion? Oh yeah, he passed through with what's, what's her face, May, a while ago. I can't remember where they were going though. Okay, well, do you know anything? Hey, let me talk to you. Hey, have you seen my brother by any chance? He's a Pokemon champion. I'm looking for him. Oh yeah, he surfed over here a couple of weeks ago, now with May, and said he found something amazing up in the desert. He was going back for it. Thanks, kid. Now, let's see. Gotta call Professor Birch back. Hello? It's me. I found a clue. Huh? What is it? Where's the desert? Uh, surf east and then north to Slayport and then go north through Malville. The desert is just north of there. Thanks. Man, I sounded awesomely cryptic there. Now let's go. All right, so it looks like in the next episode we will be traveling to Slateport City and heading up north to Malville to get to some sort of desert area, which I'm guessing is the desert resort. So we'll do that in the next episode of Pokemon Snakewood. See you guys next time.